What's going on everyone, it's Supreme Kami over here and today we are going to be doing the alteration reviews for the Double Command Quanta as well as the Gundam Barbados over here. So um, this time around I do want to change it up in terms of how I'm going to be doing the alteration review because I want to make the process for me personally editing it a lot more smoother and then I actually did have this on my Excel sheet over here so um, I did make two tabs so Double Command over here so have everything so far, um, you know just lay out everything like head torso arms and all that so we will be going through all of them you know one by one obviously and then we also do have the barber tutorial over here so uh that is something we'll definitely do right let me see if i can make this smaller all right there you go so uh we have to start right here so this is something you guys can definitely pause take a look at the stat real quick um i do have to say that in terms of just look at both of them if you ask me which one to really summon on for example um i gotta say maybe the command quanta is a little bit better just because of the fact that melee so in terms of the command quanta is more going to be for your shot obviously you know the stat right there is pretty impressive even the melee is not too shabby right so that is something to kind of consider about um in terms of the barber charles um it's pretty much all it's going to be like a melee based unit um shot is not going to be any of the presence in here obviously so uh but without further, further ado so um you guys already do, do know how i feel about the, both these units obviously they're you know um aesthetically pleasing you know the barber charles with that four leg is definitely something i wanted to pull but um yesterday pulled did not go <laughs> as planned uh that was probably my worst summoning of like like the past year or so probably the worst i have ever experienced and i don't think i have any intention of going back just because of that maybe we, we we should be getting right uh there's no way there, there's no chance we're not going to get the free to play version so maybe then i can probably just try out the leg and see what kind of like you know kid bash i can do but currently i don't see too much purpose of like summoning you know uh in this video i'm going to talk specifically about like the technical side i'm not going to talk about any aesthetics uh because you guys do know how i feel about, about both those units already um it's, it's more like a love or hate relationship i do like them in a in a way but not to like not to the full extent where i will like really really want them i don't know <laughs> i don't even know if that even makes sense but um but the thing is i already do have the high grade version of them ready so it's just a matter of time when i like it just it's just whenever i have time <laughs> and then actually record it and then make like a um what asmr like a build some uh, like a build video for them but you know uh those are all side tracks for you know but all right so let's kind of take a look so we do have nine parts in this one here actually quite a lot and then not even that the most disappointing thing is they did not give us any really top tier cause skill uh even for the barbatoros like we have seen a lot of screen time him so i would expect maybe the arrow shot i don't i don't know what that weapon is exactly called but you guys know the the arrow shot like the one that aired it in episode six like I'm sure they have enough time to design some sort of good animation, but no, they gave us a pretty bad, like, um, animated EX skill, which is not even a custom EX skill, so I'm just like, I can't, like, if they're not gonna give us, like, any of those, like, top tier animation, I'm not, not really going for it, <laughs> so, uh, starting out with the head over here, in terms of the head, like, it's looking pretty good, right, you know, coming in at 12,000, and you guys take a look at, um, coming out over here, so head part over here, uh, it's not too shabby, obviously, you're, like, what, like, around, what place is that, like, 6th place, not bad, obviously, but, you know, good war tag over here, but if you're looking at this war tag specifically, I would personally go ahead and use, let's say, the Helios head, just because of the fact that this right here, the Helios head, is giving out a 40% trade, while this one is giving a health recovery by 200 but you know you know how good this one is it's gonna be really good for this week's arena over here uh, just because of fact this week around we have an asmo arena so this would definitely come in handy but in general um these should this right here is just bad so um, i would just have to say the value to all three the head or even trying to get the head to both at it um no the the head is just a no go for sure so if you guys do pull the head um you can definitely use it for your custom build but i will not really go out of my way to alter it just because of the fact that you're not you're not going to benefit anything from just having this right here already so there's really no point so yeah so that is pretty much all what i gotta say um just trying to make it short right yeah it's just blindly bad like we we have a good roster up here ready i would gotta say uh i don't know i think anything up here like wait oops no i don't think anything up here is really worth mentioning because this one is what i think this one wasn't that good either if i recall like any of these up here i believe they're not that good i think <laughs> anything down here like 
like these are still really good like straight freedom still using it um you have the unicorn still really good high new version comp still using it those are i i would consider the top tier right now uh maybe maybe this one over here this one the hay leaves is definitely good uh but anything way up here with the stat like you see like you you, you you guys can definitely see like the stat differences from here to here but the most important thing is the partial right um i don't think any of these are packing anything too respectably good uh the war tag is not too uh, not gonna accommodate like a good shot build, so why why go for them, right? Why not go for something that's gonna be easier, like you know something like where is it at? This one or this one? So uh, moving on to the chest, uh, what does the chest have for us over here? Um, in terms of chest, uh, the main pointer I just want to give the shout out to your chest is look at that ridiculously high armor, eight thousand armor. Uh, do you keep that in mind? This is a more or less like a artillery base you know here so you do expect you, i would right <laughs> i would expect this guy to pack in with like whatever armor this one has but uh that is pretty good so it's gonna knock it down all the way to what place is that gonna be knock it down to nine places not bad actually um do you keep that keep that in mind this is gonna be on an ex good base so you can't really compare on the same tier as part of that's a part trade because you can um hypothetically subslot the main part to the same part again but you know uh, having an ex cube you do not want to do that so in terms of ex cube here the so burst over here so this is um the system dedicated to uh takuma because like he, he was what the protagonist of the gunner breaker 3 and that was like more or less like a system that is designed for him and then for mr gunplay i believe that is, i think that is what i read some, somewhere so obviously this is not anything too much to really expect uh speed increase and then shot increased by 49 percent so i'm not really gonna bother alternating it just because of the fact that uh if you purely want the 49 percent shot attack over here uh we have plenty of good options out there already in terms of free to play welfers you know standards so i don't feel like I want to go out of my way to all trade it just because of this over here. Uh, you purely want to all trade it for let's say stat staking first or just pure stats. Um, why not go for it if later later on possibly maybe go for something along along the line like uh, maybe the double sky mobius uh, that one is a top contender currently high power power and commander definitely the I would have to say one of the, one of the top ten I I would have to say. Um, good chest for like a shooting build 40 percent 40 percent part rate as well so you can't lose on there uh you can talk about the freedom over here um uh, big skim so if you want to sub -slot, sub slot on something or put this on the main slot uh definitely welcome to do that just because of the fact that big skill is going to give you that ridiculously 20 percent you know um sub slot bonuses already so uh, i'm not you know concisely pretty good it's something i'm still using what else is good on the list i don't um hot no hot scramble is not good i don't think any of these are on the list is that worth mentioning or uh, or, or it's more or less it's like can i remember them <laughs> right uh, i don't think there's that much i can remember top of my head that were good so um so this right here i would just i, I would say a pass for all for me personally but if you purely want to um the uh let's say the armor base for whatever build what whatever project you guys are working on uh definitely welcome to do that just because like this thing is monstrous with that a uh, ridiculously high armor right there so moving on to the arm how is the arm gonna treat this over here in terms of the arm man the arm is actually packing a lot of heat here uh why do you say that let me actually take a look at the barbatoros over here if we hop over here to the barbatoros arm did the arm ever make it into the top 30? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay. Yep, that's why the arm is really good, just because of the fact that you you are packing both good off like both offenses, right? Melee and shot. So you can't really lose on that part. Um, respectively good portrait right there, but do keep that in mind. We do have plenty of 40% um, arms already. So uh, I will not say this is the best one to all trade for example um the two that's currently does have a a 40 percent trade arm is going to be the hot scramble which is slightly higher and then you also have your big scale freedom that's going to be offering another 40 uh, 40 percent um double 40 percent trade so those are definitely some good option if you want to purely compare let's say this um portrait so with that big cars so i would just have to say this is probably not the, your best option anyways just because of the fact that uh you have a lot of restriction over here Restricting to P attribute as well as the Gundam type, which is uh, 
no knocks on Gundam type, but uh, me personally, it's a really half and half choice to play. Do I want to run Gundam type or higher firepower? So, um, just because of the fact that this one is a little bit more restrictive, I don't see why I would want to use it, you know? Uh, definitely the war tech is good, you know, Gundam type, they they give you the two options, you, you gotta choose one size, so, um, but then again, look at the armor, it's really high, 7,400 is definitely not a small number to be looking at right there, so I would have to say, maybe, if you guys don't have these options, but look, this is the thing, you don't want to purely chase with this, because, oh, like a double boosting, do keep that in mind, we have better options out there already, so if you guys are not able to pull it, for example, it's definitely fine, uh, I will have to say the other one are probably better, more or less, um, you know, uh, both both the other one does have ace exclusive and high mobility, which can be a hindrance, um, that for a fact I can admit to that, um, as well as the freedom, mid branch I will have to say is a sneaky good option if you can pull it off, um, because mid branch does give you a, what, 240% when you are using that, um, 4 star, uh, war tech gear so it can be a good benefit if you guys can pull that off you know mid range commander and then um ace exclusive definitely a good option but um anyways for the arm i will have to say i'll give it a hard pass um again <laughs> like three for three i'll i'm gonna say it's not really that i, I gotta alter it because we have but uh, i'm comparing to all the other ones we have already like what kind of options are there so yeah this one no again uh, moving on to the legs, so let's see what that leg have in store for us over here. Moving this to the left slightly over here. So in terms of the leg, oh gosh, the leg is losing again. Like, oh. oh. Okay, let's talk about the word tag, right? Gundam type and heavy armor. So heavy armor is more or less one of the least used word tag. Um, so you can definitely use it. Um, it does have a 5% property, just like, you know, it's a slip and uh, just like high fire power Gundam types. So, uh, if you guys, if you guys are using it, it's definitely a good option, right? It's not, it's not bad. Um, but I will have to say it's a little bit underwhelming, you know, with the part that we have currently. Um, I will have to say the best licks to be using, if you're purely speaking of part tree, um, this one is outright bad. I don't, like, do let me know how many of you guys out there do have like a crew, like an enemy like an enemy power reduction type build because this is what the leg is basically doing so you do have one ex skill boosting obviously but you also do have an enemy ex skill power reducing so do let me know how many of you guys are actually like one of those like um any like you know just in general enemy reduction type build for example uh, i feel like in in that respective it's a pretty niche group of people that does this so um having this leg right here is not going to favor uh, I, I would say the majority of the player who, who would have put this league for example so uh in terms of the better option that we have i will have to say it's gonna be the, the these two unicorns over here um these unicorn both happen to have um the 40 percent trade legs over here so these are definitely a good good option as well uh what are the other one i don't think there's any good options up here um the australian no name is a build project so that is probably not a good option to talk about um yeah i think that is yeah I, I think that is pretty much it if, if that is what i remember or at least that what that is what i use i don't think the other option were that's good actually so <laughs> yeah so we do have a pretty limited option as well <laughs> in terms of double boosting so this one like i said again probably not going to be a top favorite for a lot of people out there so probably another skip if you guys do if you guys do like the enemy reduction side you can definitely this is definitely going to be a part for you but if you guys are not into that type of build uh i feel like all trading this leg is like eh, not not really that good so yeah all right so it's going to be another skip for me right there uh moving on to the back let's see what the back has for us over here so the back does have that the bombardment ex here. this looks nice i will have to say but uh it's not going to be anything too cinematic so that is a pretty much of a letdown <laughs> right up there, right up there so in terms of the leg yeah or the backpack excuse me the backpack does have some pretty good stuff obviously um the word tag wise is uh, i don't not going to be too good gonna type and heavy armor but uh in terms of like whatever we're doing over here um uh, in terms of the backpack we don't that's the thing we don't have that many good options for a backpack that has good portrait but if you're talking about which one would you rather use for like a stat staking for example i would have to say uh, okay, so these two, this one of freedom is definitely the, the top option, the top tier option, clearly, just because it's a big scale. 
these two good wards, ward tags over here, or maybe these this one over here. Those two are probably a good option as well. Um, so anything within this proximity, uh, if you guys do have this one as well, it's definitely a good option. Uh, this one having heavy armor does kind of like restrict what kind of sub slot you can get. I, I don't know. I just feel like happy that heavy armor does kind of um, kind of makes it a little, a little more or less like a hindrance to it. So uh, if you guys do purely want to archer it for the stats taking, obviously yes, uh, this one is on the list. Um, this obviously does have that um, more or less like a ex that looks okay-ish um, if you do want to alter it you will get from a B plus to an A minus so a little bit more damage to your to your, your needs for example so um, this one I'll probably leave that up to your hands whether or not, whether or not you want to alter it but other than that that is going to be pretty much it in terms of the full set over here so now let's move on to the weapon trees over here so in terms of this workshop over here, got a shout out to Aklo over here because he put a lot of work into this workshop over here. So if you guys do want a copy of this workshop over here for so whatever needs, you know, uh, definitely check out the G and L Discord server because they will have a copy right there in store for you guys to um, just take a look. Uh, for me personally, I would like to, me personally, just me personally, right? Um, I added these two columns, uh, melee plus the 40% change here. So that's why um, the stat is going to be a little bit high, obviously, right? A lot more higher than what you would expect. So in terms of, I just want to filter things out by looking at, you know, the melee weapon real, real quick. In terms of the melee weapon, right? Uh, we are going to purely look at everything. Um, I don't want to just specifically just talk about like the own individual category just because of the fact that um, you will be using a skin anyway, so it's not gonna matter as much as like, oh, would I, would I, would I put it? Do I want to put like a saber category over like a twin category melee weapon, for example, or even the weapon tree? Like, what I, I use a uh, machine gun or a twin rifle, for example. So, um, in terms of like the high stack currently we have game, it's definitely gonna be the Love Phantom. Um, that one is pumping at that forty percent uh, melee arm. So in that regards, I will have to say um, the command Quanta for that shot. Uh, for shot specifically, uh, do we have any good option? This one is wrong. <laughs> this one was a wrong placement right here, so don't look at that one. But uh, other than that, like the highest one we have is gonna be the tech attribute uh, rebounds Gundam. So yeah, we do have a lot of good options for shot, but uh, this one does not come with like a favorable portrait that a lot of people like. So <laughs> probably not the best option to be looking at, for example. Um, even for stat sticking, probably, yeah, maybe for, for stat sticking, yes, but other than that, I'm not really going to be using these parts right here, and do we keep that in mind, Saber category is a lot more easier um, to assess in terms of, let's say, uh, for sub slot purposes, just because of the fact we have a ton, we have a ton of big scale, um, a big scale Saber category, category you can be looking at so uh there's gonna be an option but my top favorite to be using it definitely is gonna be the wing zero or the wing gundam saber over here just because we are gonna be getting this ex excellent uh set of portrait right here uh this is probably one of the best um kind of like a pairing they they could ever done like look at that exq charge like right there that's one that's check right there and also exq power boosting that's another check on my off my list so yeah this is forever probably gonna be like the, you know, my top pick for a melee weapon on on my shop here right there. So not bad. Uh, but besides that, uh, looking at the other ones, right? So this one is probably not your most top top pick for sure. What about this one? In terms of this one, this one is gonna be specifically boosting um, heavy armor over here, and as well as gonna be physical. Uh, for shot base build, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like having physical this gonna hinder it by a lot again, and this one as well. Uh, just because I feel like a lot of EX skill for shot is kind of coming out from like beams category or, or the beam side. So, I feel like having that physical is not that good. I don't know. So, this one probably not gonna be a good option as well. But, uh, if you are someone that is using heavy armor as well as physical, this is definitely a good option for you out there. Um, in terms of the melee weapon or the ranged weapon right here, this is probably like the best part to be looking at. Uh, we do take a look at this, um, take a look at this one real quick. In terms of looking at the ranged weapons real, real quick right now, um, shot right here. Yeah, so this one's gonna be a neck and neck, real, like right there. This one's gonna be right there with attack attribute rebounds kind of over here, so definitely a good option, but, but do keep that in mind, this is gonna be on a machine gun category, so you're not 
you won't have that much uh, accessibility in terms of subslot. I don't even think there's that much big skill to be looking at anyways. So let me let me kind of take a look. Um, in terms of big skills, right? Um, what are we looking at? So in terms of big skill, we only have one. So yeah, the power is definitely in your hands. I will have to say probably not your best one to be looking at. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it. So I don't, yeah, in terms of the alteration for the command quanta, I don't have too much of like um, any parts that specifically I would want to alter, for example, well, the shoe. Let's check out the shoe. Um, the shoe does definitely have some pretty good stat, obviously, you know, uh, it's gonna be pretty much generic from what we have seen right now. Um, Asus, um, Gundam type and heavy of uh, high firepower is probably a decent combo, but uh, I feel like having maybe it's exclusive is a little bit more better, or even commander, obviously. I'm not even sure why they didn't give a commander tag, you know, <laughs> for the name of it, but uh, the shoe is fine, you know. Got some good stat, obviously, that heavy, like, that, look at that armor, like, what? Uh, but in terms of the EX over here, it's going to be your generic, like, a shield Vulcan, so it's not going to be anything too spectacular. So you can alter it, obviously. If you do alter it, I believe you would get the extra magazine, obviously. And then you would get, um, pretty sure, uh, I want to check real quick. Now I want to check. Now I don't, I want to quickly check just to see what are we looking at in terms of, um, how is it before b plus so that you don't really need to alter it for this one so yeah so in terms of the, for the shield there is pretty much not a need to alter it again so um do i don't think there's anything too spectacular with this for me personally i don't know like there's just not like good topic for me so uh that is gonna be pretty much it so in the next video i will definitely be going over the board barbatoros over here i don't want to make this uh video extremely long it's been 20 minutes already so <laughs> yeah but with that being said that is going to be pretty much it and then i'll catch you guys on the second half um going over to the barbatoros over here